about domains, when we were talking about uh, reading and writing, especially reading, uh, it was said that uh, a lot of students in the Pacific love to read. However, the Pilna results have uh, shown that they love to read, but then they cannot comprehend what they read. So that kind of piqued my interest. I thought, okay, they love to read, but they cannot, uh, they cannot, they do not understand what they read. So that's like, okay, we have to do something about that. Uh, we have come up with items and, of course, text types with items that may help students to read, uh, to actually comprehend what they read. They already know how to read, but they need to understand what they read. So whatever we have put together is basically to test their comprehension of what they read, and in a way it will kind of help them understand what they read. The pulse results will actually reflect the literacy and of course the numeracy levels and science that's included for the country and in a way it will tell us that uh, oh, we lack this uh, skill or that skill and uh, th that's just a picture it will give us. It will now fall back on the, the governments, okay, the departments, the education ministry of the countries uh, to actually use the results to help to rectify the problems. All the results will do is show us where, what we need and what we are lacking. And it will now be up on the government to uh, come in, step in to improve on that. Yeah.